Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Henrietta Lightwood, and I am the Group Marketing and Admissions Director for Duke's Education, which is the holding company which owns Cardiff Sixth Form College, um, Rochester Independent College, Earlscliff, and Fine Arts. I'm here today to talk to you about Cardiff Sixth Form College. So um, what I'm gonna just do is share my screen for you um, so that you'll be able to see this. So just bear with me one moment. And um, I really want to kind of tell you a little bit about Cardiff, um, the place to be. So Cardiff Sixth Form College has been going since 2004. And since it became a kind of a full school, it actually has had the top A-level grades over the last 10 years in the UK. So if you look at our results here for 2020, 99% um, of our students got all A starter A's and 100% got A starter B's, which is absolutely incredible. And obviously it's due this year to the particular um, situation with COVID-19 that we find ourselves in because um, the A-level grades went up by a whole 9%, which is pretty unprecedented. But what that means is that if you look at what actually our students have been achieving over the past five years, you can see that the, a significant proportion um, of around about 90, 91% have got all A star and A grades every single year. So if we look at the Daily Telegraph, which is one of our major national broadsheet newspapers here in the UK, and you look at the top seven schools, for instance, between 2015 to 2019, there's obviously been no league tables this year, 2020. Um, you can see that Cardiff Sixth Form College has been the top school for A-level grades um, over those years. Um, and we've also been listed as the best independent sixth form and best independent boarding school in, in the um, good schools guides. And, and um, so you can actually kind of realise that it's got a great pedigree looking back um, over many years. This year, if we look at university destinations, um, 17 of our students went on to those prestigious universities, Oxford and Cambridge. 26 went on to London School of Economics. 32 went to University College London, mostly kind of students studying kind of things like biomedical sciences, for instance. Uh, 26 went on to Imperial College um, to look at things like engineering degrees. And 16 actually went back to Hong Kong University and Chinese U, particularly for medicine courses, dentistry, architecture, law, those kinds of very prestigious academic courses um, where the students actually had to get absolutely superb grades to get one of the very few places that those universities offer. If we look at the degree choices that we have here at Cardiff Sixth Form College, um, you can see a significant proportion of our students go on to su study subjects such as medicine, for instance, 33 students went this year. That's probably the most competitive course to get onto at university. Um, 35 went on to study things like economics, finance, management, London School of Economics, very strong in, in those areas, for instance. 23 on to natural sciences, 27 on to engineering and architecture with maths, law, dentistry, veterinary science, all those other degrees um, being particularly prevalent amongst Cardiff Sixth Form College students. In terms of our IGCSE grades, we started our IGCSE um, course two years ago, for instance, um, and in 2019, the first year that we had the course, we topped small schools league tables with 93% of our students getting all A star to A grades, which in the new system um, converts to, uh, to, to grades nine to seven. Um, we had particularly fantastic GCSE subjects, which got 100% A star to A grades, you know, history, German, biology, physics, French, Russian, Chinese. Um, so it's been a tremendous success story. Again, we have no league tables for this year, but again, our students actually have done even better this year than they did last year. And there is the small schools league table um, for 2019, which you can see, um, and you can see how, how well Cardiff has actually done there too. Now, Cardiff Sixth Form College isn't just about um, getting A stars in, in A levels. Um, there's a lot of other things that students need to get a place at one of those very prestigious top universities. And so we actually divide our curriculum really into four parts. In terms of the academic, it's obviously studying GCSEs or A-levels, but it's also things like weekly critical thinking um, skills classes. We encourage our students to take an extended project qualification, which is an independent 
research project, which is um, includes a, a 5,000 word essay and a presentation in a subject of anything that they want to study, but it shows great research skills, very warmly welcomed by the universities. For those people wanting to do things like engineering and architecture, they often will need an art portfolio, which will be taken again outside their A-level subjects. But developing yourself as an individual is not just about getting A's at A-level, as I've said before. We also help with things like effective communication. So we do essay writing competitions. We do debating competitions. People take part in um, things like the European Youth Parliament, Model United Nations. Um, leadership, a really important, one of the top attributes that universities are looking for, actually demonstrated in the personal statement. Um, so things like organising projects or events, being prefects, house captains, those things all show great leadership skills particularly for those going into business and other related courses. Um, entrepreneurship is very important, but actually in, in any um, university degree that, that you study, it's, it's a great skill to have. So things like um, the Young Tycoons Award, um, the Young Enterprise Scheme, where people actually start their own business, they're all really, really useful things that students can do here at the college. Keeping everybody calm, um, particularly in some stressful in, in situations around exam times or with, with deadlines is, is very important. So we do a lot of mindfulness and wellbeing classes and the college has been awarded um, uh, uh, external awards for the work that we've been doing with young people on these areas. And of course, going off to university practically, um, suddenly you're living away from home, you have to cook, you have to clean, you have to look after yourself, you have to navigate around the country, you have to manage your money, all those different things, really important in terms of living skills. And we help um, and give lessons on all of those here at Cardiff Sixth Form College. One of the things that universities are really looking for um, is work experience. Um, and so Cardiff is actually inspirational in what it does for its students in terms of work experience. We have um, an international work experience programme, which is known as the ICE programme, the International Citizenship Experience, where students go off to study things like medicine in India, or they might do veterinary science, for instance, in places like Tanzania or engineering in Malaysia. And even our GCSE students go off and do a European trip. So again, we're trying to look at useful experiences and skills that people can develop through international work experience. We do work at observation programmes here in the UK, normally during the October and the February half terms when we have enrichment weeks. And particularly for courses like medicine where um, people need to do regular work experience working, say, for instance, with patients with dementia or young people with um, mental health illnesses, for instance, we have we have lots of volunteering programmes which our students take part in. We also have many careers societies. So we have the engineering society, for instance, where we look at the latest in engineering research and engineering development. We have the uh, economic society, which looks at fiscal policies in many different countries around um, the world, for instance. We have the veterinary science and, and healthcare society, which looks at things like uh, genetics or medical ethics. So. These are kind of weekly societies often organised by the students themselves, again, to give them the opportunity mm. to develop those very important leadership and team working skills. And then we bring in external speakers and we look at projects and we look at what's happening in the news to make these societies really run well. Students can take part in lots of competitions. So we have scientific Olympiads, we have mathematical competitions, for instance, we have essay writing competitions, we have debating competitions, all again where students can take part, um, win some awards, go through the process, understand what things are about. And we also have enrichment trips. So our physicists, for instance, are off to CERN to see the Hadron Collector. We have um, our historians going off to Berlin, our geographers going off to Iceland, our biologists going to Bristol Zoo to study animal behaviour. There's a whole host of different trips that take place both in the UK and overseas to really make the curriculum kind of zing and, and come alive. The third section, so you've got the academic, you've got the careers-based activities. The third section really of a, of a Cardiff sixth form education is about university preparation. 
And again, I think having spent 16 years in education, um, I would say that Cardiff does it better than any of the other schools, certainly that, that I've been working in. And when you look at the results, 76% you know, this year went to QS top 100 universities, over 50% go off to Russell Group universities, for instance. Um, you know, our students really, really are incredibly well prepared for universities. And what that means really is that we start the first week that students come in, in our induction time, looking at you know, what A-levels they're studying, are they the right A-levels for the courses that they're thinking of, and really then every couple of weeks with personal tutors go through what's known as the UCAS process. And this really, um, UCAS is a, is a huge website. There's about 130 universities in the UK and they all offer lots and lots of different courses and different variations on courses. So we look at the subjects that people want to study. We look at all the different options, the options where people have got modules that they must take, you know, modules that they can choose to take. And we come up really with a short list of five universities with each of our students. It's a very individual process. We do lots of mock interview practice and study skills practice because again studying at university is different than it is studying at school. We do admissions test preparation, so things like the BMAT, the UCAT, all those extra aptitude tests which the top universities need for students wanting to go on and study those very highly competitive courses. They need some practice. So as you can see with the girl in the picture here, she's studying the BMAT, which is the medical um, uh, entrance tests that are needed for, for top universities. We do lots and lots of group discussions, talking around topics, extending knowledge, lots of practical workshops. And we bring in our holding company, Dukes Education, who have a fantastic consultancy arm, which deals with Oxbridge medical and US applications for those who want some extra help or support in those areas. We encourage our students as much as possible to go and visit the universities because there's nothing like seeing the universities to decide if it's somewhere they want to live and study for the next three years after their time with us. Um, and we bring back our alumni um, to come and talk about their experiences of being at different universities and their experiences as the professors and the types of courses and what life is like at university to give a really kind of good current young flavour, a very kind of, you know, it's very important. And of course, with things like Oxbridge and medical degrees, which are highly competitive, we do specialist preparation for our students. We, our careers department did um, quite a lot of research with um, our universities um, to look really at what are the kinds of things that university tutors and admissions staff are looking for apart from academic grades. And there's some really useful stuff here um, if you have a look at it. So the number one um, attribute they're looking for, of course, is good written English. And I was speaking on a British Council um, seminar just earlier today about this. And the universities I was with was just saying how important that was. Really, when they're looking at applications, you must make sure, particularly if English is your second language that maybe you get a native English um, person to look at it and make sure you spell check it using a British spell check not an American spell check because um, the way you present you know, what your personal statement is, is very very important. The ability to think and act critically those are skills which come with maturity but they're also skills that you can develop. Um, we as I said hold weekly critical thinking um, sessions where we look at subjects that students may not even know much about, but we actually develop their skills and their presentation, thinking about things critically and how they present arguments. Passion for the subject, you know, do you actually want to study this at university? Do you want to study it at my university? They're very important. They must come through particular interview, but also through the personal statement and also a positive attitude towards study. What have you done to go further than just studying your A-level courses? What TED Talks have you listened to? Have you done any online courses? Those kinds of things. Have you looked at any of the courses that are being offered by the universities and taken part in those? An ability to think and work independently. One of the great benefits of coming to boarding school is actually that you are away from your parents, actually. It, it enables you to develop independently, but within a safe environment before you are completely alone at university. And thinking and working independently are vital skills that you will need when you actually reach university because you will be in a much more adult environment and you will not be spoon fed information anymore. And so we need to lead you through that and help you develop those skills. Problem solving skills, again, really important, particularly for science um, subjects, but also really for any university course, which, whatever you're doing, even if you're trying to study something like music, for instance, or drama or art, you do need to look at how you can actually solve problems. 
and maths is very, very helpful. Um, it's our most popular A-level subject, and um, particularly for international students, but also for UK students. Um, maths is proving um, to be one of those subjects not just about studying maths for pure maths sake, but also really in terms of um, being able to grasp concepts, being able to look at problems and, 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 and things logically, very useful skills that can come from studying maths. Evidence of success through resilience, you know, things don't always go right. You know, we all have problems in life. We all have things that go wrong, that we fail at. Um, you know, how we've actually worked through that and come out the other side positively is a, a great attribute to be able to show in your personal statement. We've talked about positions of responsibility or leadership, work experience, all really important skills. Um, in terms of just kind of understanding what you want to do and if it really, really is something that you feel passionately about. One of the things 21% of universities actually think excellence in the performing or creative arts or sporting activity or extracurricular activities is important. Why? Well, for those of you who might say, you know, learn a musical instrument, it takes years and years to become proficient. And the dedication and the hard work and single mindedness are attributes that the universities really value. Universities these days are obviously very kind of, um, they're, they're global places, they're filled with students from many different nationalities. And we're fortunate that here at Cardiff Sixth Form College, you know, we have 41 nationalities at the school already, and being able to appreciate you know, different perspectives, different ideas, where people have come from, you know, and opening your mind to that is, um, is a very important attribute to be able to prove. If we, um, if we think about the teaching, and people always ask me, you know, what is it that Cardiff does so well? Why is it that, you know, you're delivering those fantastic results year on year on year? And there are many reasons, obviously, but one of the key things is that we employ staff with a wealth of experience. And all of our staff have had over at least 15 years experience and they've been heads of department. They have, in, you know, they've been writing exam papers for the exam boards. They have inspected schools. They've got a very wide experience and they have developed a whole host of excellent online materials for our students, um, which, which, which helps a lot. We do lots and lots of testing um, to keep practicing, to making sure that things are understood um, so that people are not phased by exams. It's just another part of a part of the curriculum. And we actually offer almost twice as much teaching time as other schools. We have over seven hours a day. So people have a lot of contact time. We also have one to one support every morning between eight and eight forty five a.m. As a school, you know, we don't want to rest on our laurels. We constantly look outwards and try and find a way where we bring the best practices from across the globe. So we look at the incomparable work ethic of the East um, and the winning combination of ingenuity and determination that all kind of goes with, with Eastern teaching. And we bring it together with the kind of creativity and imagination that permeates Western education. So, you know, we, our staff look at, for instance, the maths teaching in places like Singapore, which is very, very strong for maths. We look at some of the kind of creative communication skills that maybe come out of um, you've got America, for instance. If you bring all of those things and, and, and the excellence that's shown around the, around the globe together for the benefit of our students, it puts them in a great position. Pastoral care, looking after young people is really important. You know, some of the students that come to us are, you know, are 14, 15 years of age. You know, they've never lived alone before. Um, their parents are nervous. Sometimes they're nervous too. We have won awards for our pastoral care um, and our well-being and our mindfulness, and we take it incredibly seriously. And so we make sure that the young people that we have are surrounded by a circle of different people. Uh, their heads of houses are their main point of contact and also the main point of contact for parents and there's their small groups of, of the heads of houses for instance but they also have guardians and on we have a whole on-site the medical center we have counselors we have student support officers we have teachers and tutors for each subject we have prefects heads of house buddies peer, peer mentors for instance and um, graduate assistants because you never know who is going to be the person who is going to be a, you know, have a particularly strong relationship with, with an individual and so by having a group of people it means that we try and keep people as safe and as sane and non-stressed particularly around times of the exam as possible and make sure that everybody is looked after really really well.
And our pastoral team went went one stage further, actually, and um, and they've created something called CREATE, which stands for Community, Respect, Engage, Active, Thrive and Enrich. And our students take part in the CREATE programme, which is a pastoral care programme, and win points, um, which, which, you know, for, for different things that they do um, to, kind of, to, to help them, if you like, develop maturity and respect and communication within the community and it's been incredibly successful and the Welsh Government have wanted to take on principles of CREATE. It's been so good um, across all the schools in Wales. As I said before, we, you know, we, we have bright, top, wonderful students from across the world. Cardiff is completely international. We don't have a particularly dominant nationality. We have people from all over the world, 41 different nationalities represented here at the moment. And the students are really fortunate. They're completely spoiled. Actually, they live in real state of the art accommodation. Everybody has a single ensuite bedroom. Um, groups of three or four share their own little sitting room and kitchen. For instance, we have beautiful big common rooms downstairs where people get together to watch television and films and play table tennis and, 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 and pool and snooker. There are music practice rooms for those who want to sing or play the violin or the piano all on site. There's this fantastic medical centre, as I said, um, and there's even a wonderful art room. So the boarding competition is excellent. People are on duty 24 seven every day. It's properly keypad locked, so it's incredibly safe and secure. But as you can see from the bedrooms here, and they all look like that, they are absolutely spectacular. And, and regularly cleaned. And we also have laundry facilities because obviously we're trying to get students ready for university and we, we wash the main things, but we get students to wash their clothes, but we wash things like towels and sheets. The fourth area um, of a card of sixth form education is extracurricular. And this is where the students can kind of do things that they really love and that they really enjoy and they can mix with you know, different students that they might not be in classes with, for instance. So um, on, on, on the left hand side is our is our Glee production that's of, of Greece and we have a big drama production every year and our Glee club is, is probably one of the most popular. Um, the next one across on the right is Sports Day and every single student here is a member of the gym. We have badminton teams and basketball teams and netball teams and football teams um, and there's lots of things things like yoga and Pilates, but lots of opportunities to keep fit and healthy, which is really important. Duke of Edinburgh, as you can see in the bottom left there, is a great scheme where people do volunteering and develop a skill, something practical, and actually also go on a, a big expedition. So that's a great thing. Again, very valued by universities. Um, lots of wonderful kind of art uh, clubs, another really, really popular one where people can go and paint and draw. Um, lots of music groups and um, we have a wonderful big talent show every year, for instance, where people show off their talents, which is actually held at the Millennium Centre in, in Cardiff, which is where the Welsh National Opera and the um, National Orchestra for Wales have their home. It's got wonderful acoustics. It's a proper professional theatre. So people have incredible opportunities um, you know, to be at the college, but also to kind of use the wonderful um, facilities that we have at Cardiff. And Cardiff is a, a fantastic city to be a student. Um, it's a capital city, it's very lively, there's lots going on. There are international sporting events, for instance, there are international pop concerts. Um, it's surrounded by stunning countryside. It has waterfront in terms of Cardiff Bay where there's beautiful kind of restaurants, that's where the, the, um, the Government of Wales is based, it's where the Millennium Theatre is. And um, the shopping is great, there's wonderful kind of single boutique shops and arcades as well as big shopping centres. And it's very historic, you know, there's Cardiff Castle there in the centre. And Cardiff Sixth Form College is right in the centre of Cardiff, um, so the students can walk to the centre in five minutes. It's incredibly easy to get around and it's very easy to access. It is on major motorway routes, major public transport routes, um, train routes, um, and it's only two and a half hours away from London Heathrow. So it's a great place to be. It's not a particularly expensive capital city, so it means that the standard of living for students is, is really good. And about 40% of the population are below the age of 25. So it's a very young, very vibrant city. Just wanted to show you um, a, a few case studies, for instance, of, of some of our students who come from very, very different places. So Ellis Goulding here, for instance, got four A stars. He is a local Cardiff student and he's just gone off this year 
to Cambridge to study law. And actually in his gap year, he had a gap year in between. He actually came and worked in the admissions department with us at Cardiff. He is absolutely excellent. And he was absolutely fantastic about debating. And then during lockdown um, was very instrumental in setting up a university tu um, tutorial um, a, a guideline center for, for local, local students who wanted a bit of help from local state schools. Hosanga was, was incredibly bright. She, um, she ended up with a, a rather stunning 5A stars and went back, she's from Hong Kong, she went back to the University of Hong Kong to study medicine because the medical practices in Hong Kong are slightly different to the UK and it means that she can walk straight into a job as a doctor. Um, she really valued the career support that she got. Um, she, she, you know, she needed quite a lot of help about which, which direction she was going to go into and which medical school she was going to go to. And we spent a long time looking at the benefits of the UK and going back to Hong Kong. So she's really, really enjoyed that. Um, Melania actually um, is, is, is from, from, from the Ukraine. And Melania um, has gone off to study um, economics, for instance, at London School of Economics and Political Science. And she was, again, incredibly bright student, um, very sharp, um, and she really took part in absolutely everything the college had to offer. She was great on a lot of volunteering. Um, she took part in the talent show. She took part in our drama society and our debating. Um, and she, she was studying geography as one of her subjects, and she had a very memorable trip to Iceland. Um, Abdullahi um, is from Nigeria. And he is incredibly bright guy who's going off to Oxford this year to go and study engineering. And he particularly enjoyed the cultural event at Cardiff, which is a big whole school event where we celebrate culture and diversity. And um, people come in national costume. Um, they present things like national dances or um, uh, musical instruments, for instance. Um, and and it's, it's a big kind of Oscar style award ceremony with, with, with three course meal. Um, so all organized actually by the students, which is fantastic. So really kind of great whole school events, um, great sense of community. It's a very friendly school, Cardiff, um, and people come and definitely, of course, we need to work hard. We're here to kind of help you get what you need, but also it's a very happy place. And people always say that um, they found it incredibly stimulating, um, you know, passionate environment, and they very much enjoyed their time here. But they've been very supportive that the teachers have been fantastic, um, that the, the, the wider administrative staff have been wonderful, they've loved the careers staff, and that obviously, most importantly, they've made some friends that probably are going to stick with them, bright, interesting young people from around the world, and will probably stay with them for the rest of their lives. Thank you very much.